Top story tonight, Interpol chief armed citizens globally to prevent terror attacks. Interpol Secretary General Ronald Noble told ABC News that one of the only ways to prevent terrorists from hitting soft targets was to arm citizens globally, noting that the Westgate Mall siege would have been averted far quicker if it had taken place in gun-friendly areas like Denver or Texas. Noble's statements are a powerful rebuttal to the anti-gun lobby, especially given his background. The Interpol chief was formerly head of all law enforcement for the U.S. Treasury Department. And as we saw with the mall siege in Kenya, it was ex-SAS soldiers and others armed with handguns who helped rescue the hostages, who couldn't defend themselves because they live in a country where, aside from the government, only criminals and terrorists are able to access guns. So the head of Interpol is now saying that it's time to arm the people to prevent bloodbaths like the Westgate Mall siege. This is the head of the second largest global intergovernmental organization after the United Nations. This is a big, big deal. And his views are backed up by hard statistics. Studies which are linked in this InfoWars article illustrate how Americans use guns some 2.5 million times a year to protect themselves during confrontations with criminals. Justice Department figures also show that violent crimes have decreased as gun ownership has increased. And it's a brave stand from an extremely prominent individual, and we can expect the backlash from the gun control lobby to be imminent. Homeland Security spends $80 million on armed guards for civil disturbances. The DHS is set to spend, spend $80 million on hiring a raft of armed guards to protect IRS and other government buildings in upstate New York during, quote, public demonstrations and civil disturbances. So again, they're talking about preparing for domestic disorder. And we know for a fact that the federal agency is preparing for civil unrest because back in June, the DHS was busy purchasing body armor and helmets for what they said were riot control situations. That's a direct quote. So we're not saying that Homeland Security is gearing up for riots. They are. And what form could such domestic disorder take? Well, last year, FPS agents, which is a unit of the DHS, ran a drill entitled Operation Shield during which FPS, armed FPS agents with semi-automatic guns were stationed outside a social security office in Florida. So are they preparing for an anti-IRS backlash, potentially in relation to Obamacare? Or are they possibly gearing up for what happens when benefits get cut or ultimately withdrawn altogether? Which leads us into our next